this is uh, Mount of Olives lookout. Shalom, guys. It's Veronica, and I'm on Mount of Olives. And from Mount of Olives, and in today's video, we are heading 19 miles south of Jerusalem in the Judean hills in the West Bank to a city called Hebron or Hebron or Hebron in Hebrew. And in Arabic, it's called al Kharil, which means friend. This is an ancient city and it uh, and it's mentioned so many times in the bible first it's mentioned in the book of genesis in connection with abraham we find in genesis chapter 23 abraham purchased a piece of land to bury his wife sarah when she died In the ancient times, Hebron or Hebron was a Canaanite royal city when Abraham arrived there to settle. Hebron or Hebron is the largest city in the Palestinian territory. Hebron in Hebrew. We find in the book of Joshua, chapter 14, that Caleb lived in Hebron. In the book of Genesis, chapter 35, uh, verse 27, we find Jacob goes home to his father Isaac in Mamre, near Kiriat Arba, that is, Hebron. In Genesis chapter 18, Abraham is visited by three men who foretold or who foretells the birth of Isaac in Mamre. And in Mamre, yes, I understand there is a knock three. As the Bible mentions, oak tree of Mamre, where Abraham lived. And we hope to visit this place. We hope that the place, because it's a, a Russian church, that it will be opened. And if it will not be opened, we'll visit another day. Okay, guys? <laughs> when King David was king, he stayed in Hebron for quite some some years and we find that uh, his father Jesse and his great grandmother Ruth were buried in Hebron or Hebron so guys let's visit this ancient city the city of Hebron or you can call it Hebron or you can either call it Hebron. In Arabic, Al Kharil, meaning friend. Thank you.
other Palestinians? Yes, no, it's all the clean. It's outside it's different. Church. They open from nine to twelve. Oh. Banana, 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 banana.
Mamre. Bro, Edwin, pagi pada mau menipas tak harus pas. Buka pada pasus si driver Ramit Al Khalil Mamre. Al Khalil. Al Khalil. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> okay. We want Hello. to drink okay? Okay, okay. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Oh, I feel like I want to drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I should Oh, there's a toilet. Yes. Oh. Okay. These massive uh, stones and structures that we can see the ruins. Yes. This is part of the uh, a building that was built by King Hero the Great. Okay. But prior to King Hero the Great, this is very significant in the life of Abraham. When God, in the form of an angel, visited him prior to the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Ah, so we will get the story there. Together it's in the book the of Genesis. Ah, Genesis. Uh -huh. All right. Genesis chapter 18 The Lord appeared to Abraham near the great trees of Mamre So we didn't enter the place where the great tree of Mamre is But we are near, we are just behind the great tree of, of Mamre and so here is a good place to read this text. While he was sitting at the entrance of his tent in the heat of the day, Abraham looked up and saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he hurried from the entrance of his tent to meet them and bowed low to the ground. He said, if I have found favor in your eyes, my Lord, do not pass your servant by. Let a little water be brought, and then you may all wash your feet and rest under this tree. So this text, he was telling them to rest under that tree. From verse 3, he talks, we need to read it while we are visiting the tree. Genesis chapter 18 from verse 16, it talks about Abraham pleading for Sodom. When the men got up to leave, they looked towards Sodom and Abraham walked along with them to see them on their way. Then the Lord said, shall I hide from Abraham what I am about to do? Abraham 
will surely become a great and powerful nation. And all nations on earth will be blessed through him. For I have chosen him so that he will direct his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just so that the Lord will bring about for Abraham what he had, what he has promised him. Then the Lord said, cry against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great and their sin so grievous that I will go down and see if what they have done is as bad as the outcry that has reached me. If not, I will know. The men turned away and went towards Sodom, but Abraham remained standing before the Lord. Then Abraham approached him and said, Will you sweep away the righteous with the wicked? What if there are 50 righteous people in the city? Will you really sweep it away and not spare the place for the sake of the 50 righteous people in it? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to kill the righteous with the wicked. Treating the righteous and the wicked alike. Far be it from you. Will not the judge of all the earth do right? The Lord said, If I find 50 righteous people in the city of Sodom, I will spare the whole place for their sake. Then Abraham spake up again. Now that I have been so bold as to speak to the Lord, though I am nothing but dust and ashes, what if the number of the righteous is five less fifty? Will you destroy the whole city for lack of five people? If I find only fifty-five there, he said, I will not destroy it. Once again, once again, he spoke to him. What if only 40 are found there? He said, for the sake of 40, I will not do it. Then he said, may the Lord not be angry, but let me speak. What if only 30 can be found there? He answered, I will not do it. If I find that there, Abraham said, now that I have been so bold as to speak to the Lord, what if only, what if only 20 can be found there? He said, for the sake of 20, I will not destroy it. Then he said, may the Lord not be angry but let me speak just once more what if only 10 can be found there he answered for the sake of 10 i will not destroy it when the lord had finished speaking with abraham he left and abraham returned home so guys this is a ceramic so guys come. ceramic <laughs> place guys come. and we can be able to see the process of ceramics making.
Thank you so much from Hebron or Hebron. I thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you again in a few days time. I love you guys. <laughs>